Welcome to Countat. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the yield to maturity using the financial calculator Sharp EL738. We've done this exact same lessons using the formula as well as using Excel. And you'll find the link to that lesson in the description below. We also explain the difference between the yield to maturity, the current yield and the coupon rate. We've also done many other lessons using the same financial calculator and you'll find the links to those lessons in the description below as well. So let's look at the first example. We are told here that a bond has a face value of 100 rand, pays 10 rand annually, currently sells for 95 rand and matures in five years. Determine the yield to maturity. Now a few things to note here. If the bond has a face value of 100 rand, then this is what the bondholder will receive when the bond matures. So you'll receive this amount in the future. That becomes our future value. So the face value is the future value. And it pays 10 rand annually. What is this? This is the coupon. All right. So it's paying the bondholder 10 rand annually. So this is the PMT or the payment. And it currently sells for 95 rand. If it currently sells for 95 rand, it means that the bondholder has to pay this 95 rand today. So that is our present value. It's also the market value of the bond. And it may choose in five years. Obviously, that's the number of periods. All right. So one thing that is very important here is to note how often the coupon is being paid. We are told here that it pays 10 rand annually. We must make sure that the payment periods for our calculator or the payments per year or the periods per year is the same as the periods at which the coupon is paid. All right. So it's paid annually. That means the payments per year is one. All right. So we need to make sure that's the case with our calculator. Now we know this financial calculator by default is compounded once per year but we just need to double check that in case you changed it so we just press second function and then you press i slash y you can see on top it's written p slash y which is the payments per year and you can see it's one right if i press the downward arrow you can see it's still one all right so let me press on slash c to come out of that i just wanted to make sure that now the first thing we put there is the number of years which is five so i just press five and then i press n Okay, I slash Y is the yield to maturity that we are looking for. So we skip that one and then we put our present value. Like I mentioned, the amount at which the bond currently sells for is our present value and it currently sells for 95 rand. So I put 95 and then I make sure that I put it as a negative. So I'm going to press the plus slash minus sign. Why am I putting it as a negative? Well, because I know that my PMT and my future value has to be a different sign than my present value. Again, if I were to think of it logically, this is how much the bondholder has to pay today. So I make sure it's negative and then I press the PV, right? And then I put my payment. My payment is how much the bond pays annually, which is 10 rand. So I press 10 and then I press PMT. And then my future value is the face value as I mentioned. So I'm going to press the 100 rand because it's the face value. And then I press FV, all right? Now I put all the information that I needed to do. All I need to do is to press COMP, which is compute. And then I press I slash Y. And you can see there we have it. Our yield to maturity is 11.37%. Now, important thing to mention here is that the amount or the answer that you put for PV must be in a different sign than your PMT and your FV, like I've mentioned. So what we do here is that if you put your PV as a negative, your PMT and your FV must come out as a positive. If you put your PV as a positive, you must put your PMT and FV as a negative, otherwise it's going to give you an error. All right. I hope that was easy enough. Let's look at the second example. A bond has a face value of 100 rand. Pay six rand semi annually. Currently sells for 108 rand and matures in 10 years. Calculate the yield to maturity. Again, here the details are almost the same. The only difference that we're seeing here is that it pays six rand semi annually, and that's what we'll see most of the time when you're dealing with bonds. All right. If it pays six rand semi annually, it means that it's paying six rand every six months. All right. It means that it's paying six rand twice per year. So we need to make sure that the payments per year on our calculator is also twice per year. All right. So let's do that. We press second function and then we press I slash Y, and you can see it's still one per year. So we just press 2 and then you press here it's written ENT which means enter all right and now it's twice per year so I press on slash C to clear the screen now we can put in our details the first one here is the number of years we told it it's matures in 10 years so I'm just gonna press 10 but before I press N because it's compounded more than once per year meaning twice per year I press second function first and then I press N 
all right? And what you can see here is that it has taken the 10 years and it has multiplied it by two because obviously the coupon is going to be paid 20 times during the period. And then I press N again to make sure that it shows that answer equals to N 20, all right? So you press the number of years, press second function, press N and then press N again to confirm. You have to do this if it's compounded more than once per year. Unlike the first example where it pays annually, here it pays semi-annually, which is more than once per year. So you have to take that step. Firstly, you change the number of periods per year. We change it to two. And then when you put the number of years, you press the number of years, second function, N, and then N again. All right, now that we've done that, we put in our present value, which is how much the bond currently sells for. It's 108 rand, so I just press 108. Make sure I put it as a negative, so I press plus slash minus, and then I press PV. And then how much is it paying? Well, it's paying 6 rand semi-annually, so I just press 6, and then I press PMT. Remember, I leave it as a positive, as well as the future value, which is the phase value, 100 rand. So I just press 100, leave it as a positive, and then press FV. I've put in all my details. All I need to do is to compute. So press comp and then press I slash Y. And there we have it. It's 10.68%. That is our yield to maturity. All right. I hope it has made sense. I hope you've gained value from this lesson. And if you have, consider subscribing to our channel, like this video and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.